Hi, my name is Madison Haley and I'm a first year PhD student in the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering and I work with Dr. Barbara Dahl to understand plastic pollution in Raleigh with both litter and macroplastics and marine debris and also microplastics. And the point of this project is to understand that loading but then also explore interventions. How can we prevent the issue at the source? So for this project, there's a lot of different components. Um, we're managing trash traps, which are cages that we put in streams to catch litter floating by. Um, we're doing a GPS tracking litter that's floating down streams so we can, we can see how fast and where they're going. Um, we're doing microplastic testing to understand what that plastic load is in our, in our streams. We're doing road surveys. Um, we're kind of understanding what's happening at dump sites. There are a lot of different components that are being all put together so we can understand adequately the issues of plastic pollution and then kind of explore different interventions that we can implement and test out in trial to see what works. So another piece of this project is we're monitoring illegal dump sites and littering and for some of that we're using Tacticam trail cameras um, and this kind of helps us understand where the litter is accumulating on land and then how it's getting into the, into the water. A lot of people don't think about how they might throw a plastic bottle out the car window or dump it out in the parking lot because they don't want it to trash up their car. And that this trash on the street, and sidewalks, and parking lots, when it rains, gets washed into storm drains that flow into creeks like Marsh Creek here. And Marsh Creek keeps going and goes into Crabtree Creek, and Crabtree Creek goes into the Noose River. And the Noose River goes all the way to the Pamlico Sound. And, but also, these plastics break down into smaller fragments. They don't degrade away, they just break into smaller and smaller pieces that then can be ingested into the organisms that we eat, such as oysters, clams, shrimp, crabs, fish. So that's a real health concern for us that we're dumping trash out on the ground and that it ends up out in our coastal waters that where it can accumulate in some of the food resources that we really know and love and rely on. With the GPS trackers, we'll be able to see how fast and how far these, these pieces of trash go. Um, and we're also putting it public online and we've named them and we have a really engaging dashboard. So anyone can go on and follow along, follow our trackers to see um, and kind of connect that. What we do here in Raleigh impacts communities downstream. It impacts all the the people and the critters, the flora and the fauna that are between here and the ocean.